What is going on guys? So welcome to the video. Now you guys see me post a lot of videos about the subject of bulking. However, starting your own bulk can be somewhat intimidating, especially if you guys are new to lifting. And so that is exactly what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know to set up your own bulk to be successful and gain some muscle. Now, when it comes to bulking, I basically like to break everything up into three main categories. That is training, sleep, and nutrition. For the first part of the video, we're gonna talk about training. And that means we're gonna head to the gym, but first, gotta take some pre-workout. That's gonna give us a very nice pump when we get there. All right guys, so we just pulled up to the gym. As promised, we're gonna go through the first part of bulking, which is training. I'm gonna discuss with you guys how you should be executing your workouts to effectively set up your bulk. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go train some back and biceps. The key thing you guys should focus on when bulking is to train heavy and to train compound movements. The best time to gain strength is when you guys are on a bulk. Eating in a caloric surplus means your body is gonna be able to put on more muscle than normal. And so in order to capitalize on that, a lot of the movements we do today are gonna be really heavy, trained with high intensity. So let's get after it. All right, guys, we are gonna get started on back right now. First, we gotta get warm, so let's go. guys so our lats are nice and warm we're gonna do some pull-ups outside as our first main exercise I honestly think that pull-ups are one of the hardest back exercises so I like to put them at the beginning of the workout so I get the most out of them Next exercise, you guys, we're gonna do another variation of a pull down, except this time we're gonna change the angle of our wrists. That's one good tip for you guys when training back as well, is to try to do a ton of different movements with a different angle of your wrist. So this specific grip, when we grip it, we have a neutral wrist. Now, when we were doing pull-ups, we had a pronated wrist position. And so once we do a switch up on that positioning of the wrist, it's going to hit our back a little bit differently. Okay guys, so we finished up with the first two exercises. Third exercise, we are gonna do some barbell rows, heavy. Again, making sure we're utilizing that fresh amount of strength we have towards the beginning of our workout. All right guys, so the rows are done. We've done four exercises for our back so far. That is basically enough to grow your back. So we're gonna leave it there and move on to biceps. Now, just one thing to keep in mind, you guys, don't go too heavy on some of your compound movements to where your form starts to decay. You wanna make sure that you can do all of the reps throughout your set with a good form. If your form is starting to get kind of bad towards the end of your set, you might need to pull back on the weight just a little bit. Anyways, let's get a bicep pump real quick and finish up the workout.
And just like that, very successful workout complete. Now we're gonna go for a quick little sauna and then after we're gonna get some food. Moves on to step two of the bulking journey, which is nutrition. So I'll check in with you guys when we're done. Post sauna physique. We just did like, what was that, 15 minutes in there? Yeah. Finally leaving the gym, you guys. So right now we're gonna go get some food, fuel that post-workout nutrition. All right guys, going with the four boneless chicken thighs, 706 calories, and a side of chips, 224 calories. Boom. So that's gonna be 930 calories just for this one meal. And we got the best sauce, of course. The meal has arrived. All right guys, food is done. Now, we gotta get a little post-workout recovery. Go for a cold little swim in the ocean. What do you think about that? The sun, sunset swim, sunset swim. Yeah, so we'll check in with you guys in a little bit, but we're gonna go for a dip. Love that smell of the uh, sea salt in the air. Yo, so we're back from the swim. So I'm about to cook up another meal and now I'm gonna get into more of the nitty gritty of the nutrition side of things when it comes to bulking and setting up your calories. Now the biggest factor when it comes to gaining weight is of course going to be a caloric surplus. Now for those of you who don't know what I mean by a calorie surplus, let me explain. Every single human being on the planet has a different number that is their maintenance intake. Your personal maintenance intake is the exact number of calories that you would consume every single day to not gain or lose any weight. So by definition, eating in a caloric surplus of your maintenance would mean that you must consume more calories than you are burning every single day. So the only thing you guys need to do to figure out how many calories you need for your personal bulk is to figure out your maintenance calorie intake and then add a certain amount of calories to that number. Now the easiest way you guys can do this is literally just to look this up on Google calculator.net maintenance calories. Now the website is going to look something like this. And from there, all you guys have to do to get your personal maintenance intake number is to enter in your information and it'll give you a very rough estimate. Now, once you guys have this number, I want you to add three to 500 calories to that maintenance number. That number is going to be your personal bulking calories. If your goal is to gain less fat and build up the muscle more slowly, I would start at 300. If your goal is to just become like a full blown mass monster, go ahead and do 500 above the maintenance. Now for this, sake of the video, I'm gonna enter in my personal information. So I'm 23 years old, height I am 185 centimeters, weight I'm about 82 kg. We'll go with very active six to seven times a week. Go ahead and hit calculate. And you guys can see in order to maintain my weight, I need to eat 3,219 calories. So with that being said, I would go ahead and add 500 to that number, meaning my bulking calories are about 3,700 every single day. Now keep in mind, you guys, it is very important that you stay consistent with the calories you are consuming. If you guys eat 3,000 calories one day, 3,500 the next, then 2,500 on Wednesday. Your body is just not gonna be able to gain that weight. You need to be consistent with that surplus in order to set up your bulk effectively. Now, since we are on the topic of nutrition, I'm gonna make a meal real quick for you guys, give you a perfect example of a high calorie meal for bulking. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can track your food really accurately. This bad boy right here is all you will need aka a food scale. You guys can get these at any major grocery store chain for literally $15. It is a super, super good investment and I highly recommend you pick one up if you don't already have one. Now, some of you might be a little bit confused as to why I'm explaining how to use a scale, but it isn't the simplest thing ever. So let me just show you. Firstly, I always measure in grams. That's the most accurate. Then you're gonna place whatever piece of equipment you're gonna use to put your food into and then tear it which will zero the weight of the scale, like that. Now, for this meal, I'm gonna be doing beef and rice, so I'm gonna weigh out my rice exactly on the scale. Now, as you guys can see, I have 136 grams of dry weight white rice. And then all you have to do to figure out those calories is convert it based on the nutrition label. So on the side of this package here, you guys can see per 100 grams, we get 353 calories. Since we had 136 grams of rice, 
I'm gonna do 353 on my calculator times 1.36. And now we know that this is 480 calories of white rice. Make sure you guys always measure your rice dry because once we actually cook this in the pot and add some water, its weight will change. We know that water has zero calories, but if we can't track the accurate weight of just the rice alone, the total calories of our meal is gonna be inaccurate. Now, in my opinion, you don't really need to track macros while you're on a bulk. The only thing you guys should actually be tracking is your daily protein intake and your daily calorie intake. I try to shoot for one gram per pound of my body weight in protein every single day. So if you guys watching this video are 150 pounds, shoot to eat 150 grams of protein every day. And as long as you guys are staying within your calories and hitting your protein, you really don't need to worry about the carbs and the fats. Now, the other component of this meal is going to be beef. Now, as you guys can see, we have 0.852 kilograms of beef, and then we have six total patties in the package. So again, we take out our calculator, we look up 852, divided by six gives us 142. That means that each one of these burgers weighs 142 grams. And it's literally that easy. That's all you guys have to do in order to track your food. And there you have it, you guys. We have 1,100 calories in this small bowl, literally just beef, rice, and salt. Also, another pro tip, don't be afraid of liquid calories. I have an apple juice in this glass right here. That's an extra 150 calories. That's super easy. Now, before I eat, I always like to get a little bit of hot sauce. And of course, my trademark, honey and rice. Also guys, don't listen to the stereotype that you need to eat bland food like plain chicken, plain rice, plain broccoli in order to gain muscle. You can absolutely make delicious tasting meals and still build just as much muscle as everybody else. That's why I always try to make my meals look good and appetizing like this one because they're just so much more exciting to eat. Total calories for this meal with the honey, the rice, the apple juice. Boom, 1,400, that is easy. You guys could do this meal twice a day, throw in some snacks, and you're already hitting your calories for a bulk. If you guys subscribe to me, you have no excuse to not be getting your food in. I'm gonna watch Scarface while I eat. I will check in with you guys just as soon as I'm done. What's up guys? So, we're finished with our final meal of the day. That brings us to the third pillar for the bulking triad, which is sleep. So sleep is one of those things where a lot of people know that it's somewhat important, but they don't really think about it enough to where it actually makes a significant difference in the gains that they make. You should honestly have a very regimented sleep routine every single night because it's just that important. One of the biggest things that sleep is beneficial for when it comes to lifting is testosterone and muscle recovery. People who sleep more typically have better levels of testosterone and better levels of muscle recovery. That means that they're able to make gains much more quickly than people who sleep less. So what can you do to better your sleep? Well, let me show you. First big thing you guys are gonna wanna do in the final two to three hours before you go to sleep, dim the lights in your house. Artificial lights like these above me create something called blue light and blue light has been known to suppress the production of melatonin in the body. And that's not a good thing. You want lots of melatonin. The reason it becomes harder to stay awake the longer you've been awake is because your body just keeps producing more of that melatonin until you literally just cannot fight the urge and go to sleep. And we don't want to suppress that. So two to three hours before bed, flick off the lights and just kind of chill out in some dimmer lighting. Next tip you guys is to stop eating a full two to three hours before bed. Now I know you guys are bulking and you wanna get as many meals in as possible, but trust me, your digestion and your sleep will thank you later if you guys can be disciplined and wait at least two hours after eating before you go to bed every single night. Now my third tip for you guys is sleep supplements. I normally don't advocate for relying on a supplement for pretty much anything, 
However, when it comes to sleep, I really do believe in today's day and age, you actually need to supplement to a certain degree to max out those benefits from the sleep you get at night. Don't believe me? Take a look at this. Published by the University of Notre Dame, the reality is that 75% of us aren't getting enough, leading to the lack of magnesium in our bodies. Magnesium is a critically important mineral in your body for sleep. If you are deficient in magnesium, you're gonna have a lower quality sleep. It's as simple as that. Now I have a couple of magnesium supplements. This is just straight up magnesium on its own. Now there are a lot of other beneficial sleep supplements beyond just magnesium. So normally I like to take a concoction of a lot of these good supplements that have research behind them to totally make sure that I'm not leaving any stone unturned for my sleep. Right now my favorite one is the Gorilla Dream Sleep and Recovery Formula. If you guys look closely at the ingredients, you can see not only does this have magnesium, but a ton of other good stuff. I will put a link to this in the description if you guys are interested. It is 100% not necessary to have great sleep. However, it's one of those things where if you can afford it, it is definitely worth taking in order to max out the benefits. I'm sure most of you guys are disciplined enough to be in the gym every single day. And if that's the case, I know you're capable of having a sleep routine in which you go to bed around the same time every night. So this basically concludes everything you guys need to know about bulking. Just to recap, first thing we talked about is your training, just setting up your workouts, making sure you guys are doing the right sets and reps, going heavy when you need to. If you guys need a good workout program for bulking, I have a free program linked in my Instagram bio. If you guys wanna go check that out, I'll leave my Instagram handle right there. Second thing we talked about was nutrition, tracking your calories, and then of course, last was your sleep. If you guys are able to follow everything I've talked about in this video, I promise you, you're gonna be on the right track when it comes to your bulk, and you're gonna see a lot of success if you give it some time and stick with it. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please do not forget to smash that thumbs up button. And of course, stay tuned for the next YouTube video. I will see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.